For this week's Sports Star Spotlight, we're headed to Texas, where Joe McCann introduces us to a young athlete who could be a professional in the very near future. A lot of stadiums are empty right now, but hopefully they'll be full again in the not too distant future. And those are the kinds of crowds Lexi Massimo wants to play for. Ultimate dream is to be on the women's senior national team and going professional soccer. While playing for the national team is a dream for every young player, this rising star from South Lake, Texas is closer to reaching it than just about anyone else her age. Both of Lexi's parents played soccer, her mom at TCU, and her father is the all-time leading scorer at the University of North Carolina. But Lexi's biggest influence early on was her sister Gabby. She was a cheerleader at my games and she'd always be on the sidelines wearing a UNC cheerleader outfit. I was so young and then I looked at Gabby's team and they inspired me so much. I was like, wait, that's really cool. Like, I think I can do that. Like the older she got, she would start to guest play with my team and like in practices, she'd always be there. And we definitely knew something was special about her because not only would she be able to hang with the older girls, she would outplay the older girls. A couple of the parents found out that we had both played in college, and so they asked if we would coach the team. So um, Derek started coaching the team. I assisted for a while, and from there it just took off. As the girls became more serious about the game, their father began coaching them for Solar, a club team that travels around the country and has seen a lot of success. Academy soccer is um, the pinnacle for here in, in the States and all the best of the best play academy soccer. And in, in Texas, the North Texas market is considered one of the best hotbeds for, for U.S. soccer. And so there's several uh, prominent clubs here and Solar is one of them. We were always just like a winning team. We won everything, like hundreds of games, tournaments. It's more technical, faster, and so playing in that environment has brought me to a new game in soccer and it brought me who I am today. Now Lexi is the top ranked player in her class. She set records playing for Solar. She's the only player in the history of the U.S. Development Academy to reach 100 career goals, and she's also tallied 150 career assists. She's the perfect example of what soccer fans mean when they talk about a number 10. So number 10 is basically the attacking mid, and they can either go up the field, they also have to come back and defend and create opportunities going forward and attacking. For the women's game, Lexi is, a, is an up-and-comer with great potential as a 10 because she has an appetite to attack the frame. Her best thing is her vision. I love the way she can read the game. Like, she sees plays way before anyone else can, and I think that's a God-given talent. It's not something everyone has. Ultimately, the way she can read the game is what really impresses me. She can create, she can score goals, and at the end of the day, she has this undying spirit that they gotta win. And when you have someone in that position of responsibility playing that role for that team, that team will usually have success. Lexi is committed to the University of Texas, but she's taking some time before she enrolls. She graduated high school in just three years, and that has allowed her and her family to use this summer as an opportunity to see what her professional options might be. Some current members of the national team, like Mallory Pugh, did bypass college soccer altogether to play professionally, and Lexi has been weighing that option for herself. And she has had trials with clubs overseas. You know, we're just trying to get her the information, but the biggest part is she put herself in this position. She finished her studies in three years, and that's on top of probably missing 50 to 60 days a year with camps. So now she's, she's in this position, she has time, and she's young. You know, fortunately she's fielding a lot of offers from everywhere and uh, she's gonna make the best decision for her. While professional teams remain interested and she still has time, it looks like Lexi is going to stick with her college commitment for now. And she's looking forward to being a Longhorn. I love the coach Ange Kelly. The university is really pretty, and on top of that, a plus is my sister goes there and all my best friends. So while she'll be a Longhorn this spring, it probably won't be too long before she's playing at an even higher level, and she and her family are excited for the future. My main goal is to be on the full women's national team, so if that has to do with going pro or going to college, we'll just have to see where it takes me. Alexi, early on, I think around 14, 13, she, she made it pretty clear that she wants to be in the U.S. national team, senior team, and uh, everybody around her wants to see her have success. And the best thing about Lex, in my opinion, is uh, she's, she's incredibly humble. And, and being, being humble, being hungry, and, and hopefully, God willing, being healthy, you know, she'll have great success going forward. I am just really proud of her. I think it's like incredible someone at that age can have all these like incredible opportunities for life. Um, I always am bragging to people about my sister and like always posting on social media, like every time she gets a shout out or something, because it just like, it makes me really proud that I have a sister that 
can definitely change the game of soccer overall. So excited for her. I mean, she has such a bright future ahead of her. It's all in her hands. She just needs to continue to do what she's continued to do, which is work hard and train hard, and we'll just see what the future has for her. Thanks for checking out Sports Stars of Tomorrow on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and please subscribe to our channel so you see all of the latest content.